begins. We have a new name, we have a new sponsor, we have a new season, and we have a new Leeds United. But it's Derby County in blue who will kick us off on Mark Clattenburg's whistle. Here's Inigo Idiaca, the Spaniard who spent most of his career with Real Sociedad. And Milton Biscard wearing eight, another of the new signings. And Gary Kelly in trouble. Well, he got a kick in the face straight away there. It was accidental, but just the foot of uh, Morton Biscard just came and kicked him right in the face. Just watch this, he clears the ball, he slides in to get the ball, and then just watch the foot. Now it's the knee, actually, and then the foot just clatters him right on the head, and I think he'll get up from that. But uh, it's a sore one to begin with, certainly in the first minute. That's not what you want straight away. Welcome to the new season, Gary. He's uh, in immediate need of attention. The fish guard was uh, quick to signal for treatment. Not quite the start Kevin Blackwell would have wanted. Gary Kelly, one of the uh, few that have remained at the club since relegation. £24 million has been wiped off the wage bill, and Blackwell himself has been involved incredibly, Chris, in over 40 transfers in and out of the club. Welcome to football management. <laughs> it's a fantastic start for him to take over such a big club as Leeds United but under the circumstances you're hoping when you when you get yourself your first managerial job that the circumstances are different but the, the reason obviously why he's got the job is because of what's going on now it's up to him he's working his way through it he's seen a lot in the early season uh, of what a manager has to do and now it's about the football from day from this day onwards he hasn't finished yet on the transfer dealings either the Leeds fans could see a few more players coming in yet. Gerald Krasner, the chairman, giving Kevin Blackwell as much backing as he can. They're after Sean Gregan from West Brom. And, of course, yesterday, late last night, in fact, they completed the signing of Stephen Craney from Southampton. They had to do it on loan initially so that he could be on the bench today, but a £200,000 permanent deal will happen next week. Harry Kelly's back on his feet. But off the pitch at the moment. As Michael Johnson sends it through to the new number one at Leeds United, Neil Sullivan, and Kelly's back. He's a battler. We've seen it all in his time at Leeds United. A new strike force, Ricketts and Joe team, and of course they have Brian Dean on the bench. And also Danny Kadamata in the squad. Main right header for Michael Dubery up towards Ricketts, who will challenge Johnson, picked on by Joachim. It's never really been his strength, Michael Ricketts, trying to get flick ons and that type of stuff, but it looks as if Kevin Blackwell might have been working on that. Just if even if he doesn't win it, it might come off Michael Johnson and then Julian Joachim to run the other way. There's no doubt this Leeds team will take time to gel, but Kevin Blackwell has brought in players who are hungry, with points to prove, who are decent at this level. And they haven't come for the money, that's for sure, they've come to play for the shirt. Tommy Smith, one of the new arrivals for Derby. Jeff Kenner now. To Tom Huddleston, starting on the right of midfield, but he can play anywhere. And he can play anywhere comfortably. I certainly can, I agree with Gary McAllister. He's going to be a centre-half. Uh, and a comfortable centre half in the Lawrence and Hansen mould. Good footballer, but he can also dominate in the air as well. You just look at the size of him. And uh, he's a big, big lad, and he's still got a bit of growing to do. And we played more games than any other Derby player last season, still only 17. And the Arcus is on his feet, the Spaniard, who adds plenty of experience to that midfield for Derby. Jeff Kenner takes. Ian Taylor flying through the air. <laughs> I didn't think he did a lot wrong, and Mark Clattenburg was close to that, must have seen a little infringement. Taylor scored Derby's winner against Aston Villa on Tuesday. They played well in that game, and of course, Taylor was given a great reception by both sets of fans. I was talking to him 
earlier on and he was saying he's as fit today as when he ever first started. Uh, it takes him a little bit more time to recover, but when you're out on the pitch, he just feels as fresh as when he first started. Now, Simon Walton getting involved straight away, and he likes to get involved despite his tender age. Could have done with a better early touch when you're a young lad, but a little applause from the crowd might have just egged him on a bit. I just wondered if it affected Gary Kelly, that knock in the face, not at all. Still as determined to go for that ball in the air. In his 14th season now at Leeds. To Jackson's throw. Tommy Smith looking for Tuggay and Kilgallen had to come across. I think Michael Dubry just said to me, yeah, get, get yourself across there, but use your right foot. You know, you, you've stuck your left foot on that and you give a corner away. Whereas if you took that with your right foot, it could have been a throwing. Biscard with the corner. Oh, it's not a bad one. what Paul Butler gives you, he dominates inside the six-yard box. If the goalkeeper doesn't come and Sullivan didn't there, he makes sure he gets on the end of stuff. Simon Walton furthers forward for Leeds, now Ricketts. Butler, the captain, he knows this division well from his time with Sunderland and Wolves. He does indeed. I was really surprised when Peter Reid let him go all those years ago when Sunderland got to the top flight. Tommy Smith. And the Sunderland player, he was there last season, he's got the free kick. He's one of those players, Paul Butler, where people have said for years you can run him. But with his experience, you know, he may not be the quickest, but he's clever upstairs and he hardly ever gets run. Hardly gets himself exposed where it's a situation where he's one-on-one. -on -one. Well, there'll be a slight delay here because uh, Michael Johnson has a problem for Derby. Came off in the week, actually, in that uh, friendly against Villa. After taking a knock, looks like a, just a bang on the head this time. He's looked impressive for uh, pre-season, by all accounts. I think it's just a straightforward challenge between the two of them and accidental clash of heads with Danny Pugh. Came from Birmingham a year ago. Derby have no conyers to come into their defence yet. The big Bosnian sign from Coventry has been struggling with injuries pre-season. Towards Burley's second full season in charge and he's pretty confident at the moment. He feels he has a squad that could perhaps surprise a few in the championship this season so now we have the free kick it will be taken by Idiarkath. Positional sense. Paul Butler, just get yourself in the right areas and that's what he does ever so well. Butler fancied a bit of that, so too did Walton. Idiarka. Taylor. Huddleston looking for Bishgar who uh, is primarily right-sided, but can play on the left as well, as he is today. Well, it seems strange to see Sam Ellis on the Leeds United bench. Every time you saw him before, it was alongside Stan Turner, whether it be at Berry or Burnley, two great characters together. But with Stan out of work at the moment, Sam has moved on. Bishgard, the Dane who came from Copenhagen, 
Just people backing off. If they back off and they don't come towards you, you've got to pull the trigger and have a shot. Look, Dubry and all them. Look, they're getting away from him. Just inviting him, really, to have the shot. Also played in Italy in his career with Udinese. He's 30 now. Also played for his country, Denmark. Leeds are usually quick out of the block. They haven't lost an opening day fixture for 15 years, would you believe, since 1989 when they were walloped 5-2 at Newcastle. Mickey Quinn got four goals that day, but uh, apart from that, they always do all right on the opening day. They um, haven't settled yet. Um, obviously, it is the start of a new season. Derby County is fresh maybe even fresher than the way that they've started than, than Leeds and the expectation. Smith might just open up for him. Seemed to hit Kilgannon on the hand. I don't think he knew much about it. He didn't know anything about it, but definitely hit him on the hand. Todd Gate, Idiakov. Starting in on Marcus Tugger and Tavrikit. He tried to plunder his way through Tommy Smith. Just watching a few ricochets and everything, and then eventually he finds his way through. Doesn't really make good contact with the ball, but just watch it. It's the right arm, but it's low and it's down by his side. So no hint of a penalty. Well done, Mark Plattenberg, the referee. Opportunity here for Derby. <laughs> no comment on that link from uh, Morton Biscard and Julian Totim is benefiting and look at him go Walton's got into the box so too had Pugh corner oh, that's what he does fantastic Julian Totim I don't think he realises at times how quick he is and how much pace he has to burn and how much pressure he can take off his side where he can take, turn defence into attack almost immediately. If he stays fit all season, which is very, very hard, he'll score plenty of goals in this league and cause defenders absolute nightmares. Danny Pugh came from Manchester United when Alan Smith went the other way. It's Pugh's corner. Smith. Just 12 years ago, Leeds United were champions of England. And the man who guided them to the title, Howard Wilkinson, made some one or two dodgy signings during his time at Leeds, though, didn't he? Hey, Chris. It's the best 150,000 he ever spent on me. <laughs> he went and spoiled it by signing Gary McAllister the following season. <laughs> Lee Camp preferred in goal for Derby today. Just 19 years of age, his first start for the club. He was on loan at QPR towards the end of last season, and they wanted to sign him permanently. He's not the tallest, is he, Camp? But as he said, he did very well at Queen's Park Rangers. I think it was a 50 50 choice, really, between Camp and Lee Grant to play in goal. George Burley went with the younger man. Here's Kelly. You on the header, but it's safely with Camp. Just settled leads. That run from Julian Jochim has started a little bit more forward thinking and playing the balls into the final third of Derby. Going with Smith. Calmly done by Kelly. Sullivan. Plenty of experience there between the two of them. Important new goalkeeper makes a good call. Gary Kelly can trust, trust the shout and 
play it accordingly. Dubery. And Danny Pugh made a late run. And he went on the edge of his area. Just got a little knock then as well, Lee Kemp. Well, he's exactly. took his eye off the ball, Danny Pugh. Why is he taking his eye off the ball? Just keep your eye on the ball. He, he sees the goalkeeper coming, but just go for the ball now because this will drop on his head. There he is. He's just that last second decided that, oh, the goalkeeper might come out and clap me, and that's the reason why he doesn't get that ball. Well groomed by Manchester United. Johnson. Biscar. Well, he's got his back four sorted out, Neil Sullivan, that's for sure. Kill Gallon there just ducked underneath it immediately. Once he got the shout from his keeper. Mainly a centre half, Kill Gallon, but playing a left back because Kevin Blackwell didn't really have an option until he brought in Stephen Craney. Yesterday. Jermaine Wright's cross. And Pew did better that time, but Lee Camp in the way. Well, Lee Camp hardly knows anything about this, but this is determination. This is about keeping your eye on the ball, making this yours, and he drifts in superb at that far post, heads it down hard and low, and once it hit the ground, it just bounced up. Camp wasn't sure where it had gone from the bounce, but dealt with it eventually. Just run away from Tug Gay, now Dubery, playing it safe. Nearly joined Wolves in the summer. Michael Dubry, but it didn't happen. Huddleston, Biscard. Well, well, well done, Lee Camp. You have to be in the right place. Does really well to come above Jeff Kenner, but like you said, just look at the goalkeeper's position there. Not sure where it's going to go, but he's in the right place for it to hit him. mentioned that Leeds usually start the season well. The Omen's not too good for Derby. They haven't won an away game on the opening day for 40 years, remarkably, since 1964. That's all history as far as George is concerned. Did you tell him beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't take it too well. We're up to over 34 degrees down there on the pitch. Tad warm. 93 degrees by my reckoning that <laughs> yeah I thought so <laughs> thank you Phil Murphy for that information here's Pew now Walton Kilgallen's cross well, Ricketts tried the flick but it bobbled off Johnson now Smith Just a good spell now for Leeds. They've got a little bit of confidence about them. The crowd are right behind them. They've settled down, and the balls that were going up towards Smith early on are not sticking anymore. Here's Fraser Richardson. He has only a handful of Leeds games under his belt. He's got away from Jackson. And Churchill. And he's watched all the way by Johnson. Kill Gallon. Just let it go there. Good defended by Michael Johnson. He's tried to lean into him there, Julian Jotun, to get himself a bit of space, but wasn't going to be pushed over, Michael Johnson. Tuggay. Handball. Dubery. Taken quickly, and here's Marcus Tudgay. And Simon Walton soon snuffed him out. Oh, flick on from Ricketts, and Julian Cherachim is in. What a chance! No! What a save. 
what a save, he gets his foot on the end of this league camp just to turn it away. Absolutely magnificent. He's not even given a corner, I mean, that's absolutely shocking from the referee and his assistant because this is on its way in. Once he plays that, you can see the definite deflection from the foot. Jochim has played it underneath him and just the outside of that right foot, right foot, just is enough to turn it away. Nearly the first goal of the championship, but not quite. Offside this time against Michael Ricketts. Well, well done, the goalkeeper. I mean, the, the move was superb. That's what he does well. He plays on the shoulder, Jochim. Then he plays it in, and there's the right boot. Just takes a big, big deflection away from the ball. And these can feel slightly agree they didn't get a corner, but at the end of the day, one on one with a goalkeeper, you expect Julian Jochim to score. Certainly stirred the passion amongst the Leeds fans. Not that it takes much stirring, despite their recent troubles. And like Leeds, Derby have had severe financial problems, but they're coming out the other side now. Through the turmoil, the supporters of both these teams have been fantastic. Turning out in force. Biscard. Idiaka. Now Jeff Kenner. Intercepted by Jermaine Wright. Taylor. Loves to get forward. Top scorer of the derby last season, although will score a few penalties. Tug game for Huddleston. Walton lost out with Taylor pounding him. Smith, no real power on it. So Walton lost possession there, but I, before then I couldn't fail to be more impressed with him. He's done so well. It was his ball up towards Ricketts for the run through for Jochim and got a bit of out in the lad, certainly. 16 years of age, great future ahead. Evan Blackwell reckons he'll get about 20 games out of him this season. It'll be 17 next month. And he goes and lets me down with another bad pass. <laughs> Just to, sorry, you know, just say it's a time now for Derby County just to keep possession a little bit more because as it's going up there, it's coming straight back. <laughs> Ricketts went the wrong side of Dochim that time. Certainly improved on the winning of the balls with his back to go, Michael Ricketts. <laughs> Kill Gallon's throw. It back from Ricketts, it's aimed towards Joachim. Pablo Mills close to him. Leeds relegated after 14 seasons in the top flight and just three years after they were playing in a Champions League semi final. Pew in towards Ricketts. Fraser Richardson's header. Oh, loads of uncertainty there in the Derby defence, even the goalkeeper as well. Because of his side, um, he's not the tallest, he doesn't really come in command. Once that bounces there, you expect him to just come and get it, but he's really fishing with the, the arm. Gets on the end of it, though. Diaka, not 
legs. Walton, and he took it personally. Here he is again. Simon Walton relishing every minute of this game. Richardson. Assisted by Gary Kelly. What a cross! And Ricketts looked like he might have been being held a bit. Oh, Jeff Ken is pulling his shirt the whole time, doesn't allow him to get across the face, but there wasn't that real determination from that big fella, Michael Ricketts. He's such a strong lad, he should be able to shrug him off. Tommy Smith is in here and onside. Supported by Taylor. Huddleston, Tudgate, Huddleston, and it hit Paul Butler. Walton, all action. Leeds, well, they're going to have to kick the ball out so the treatment can be given to Ricketts. Well, he was definitely fouled, there's no doubt about that, but just with his strength, I thought he might be able to shrug Jeff Ken off and go for this with his right foot. He doesn't, he tries to go with his left, and look at him there, look, he's... You can't really tell the, the amount of pulling of the shirt from that angle, but we'll see it just once again from here now. Great ball from Gary Kelly, and there he is, he's, he's goal side. There's the right arm of Jeff Keller, just stopping him getting forward. The Football League up and running, coming later on Sky Sports 1. It's Coventry against Sunderland. And then tomorrow, we're at the Britannia Stadium for what should be a tasty one between Stoke and Wolves. That's from noon, Sky Sports 1. Local, big local rivals there, Stoke and Wolves. Yes, yeah, always an edge to that game. George Burley spent eight years at Ipswich took them into the top flight and they had those two differing seasons of course standing when they first went up and then they came back down disappointed with the referee Michael Ricketts having a good long chat with Mark Clattenburg there but to be fair to him he couldn't see from his angle that the shirt was being pulled and like I say when you see people with strength and stature like Ricketts you expect them to be able to get past the slightest shirt pull anyway Referee, by the way, has been promoted to the elite list. We shall be seeing him in the Premiership this season. He deserves it as well. It's very good. Nearly got there last year, has got there this year. Mark Plattenberg giving the signal for Michael Ricketts to return. That's Butler's ball. Idiaka. Jackson. Biscard. Tommy Smith. And Kelly watching the ball all the way. Jackson, Gary Kelly has this covered, he's going to have to deal with it though. Michael Johnson on hand, Idiaka, Ian Taylor in the box as usual. see George he's just shouting at his players the whole time keep possession keep possession we need to get some play together because it just keeps going up it's coming straight back towards us and he prides himself on the football that his teams play nicely done by Tudgate rescued by Huddleston show team living on the edge but it was intercepted by Mills 
We're not seeing the best of Huddleston out on that right side of midfield. Trying very hard to get himself involved in the game and make his passing ability felt. trying to retrieve this he just makes a late decision to go for it Michael Ricketts whereas if he sets off almost immediately as quick as you can he then eventually trying to stop it from going out just a little word from the referee with Michael Ricketts and I'll just say to the defender don't worry I've had a word with him so what happened Leeds go to Gillingham in midweek and Wolves next Saturday Tough trips, but then Derby haven't exactly got it easy. Ellen Road today, and then they've got home matches against Leicester on Wednesday. And they face George Burley's old club, Ipswich, at the weekend. And nobody said it was going to be easy at this level. Such an exciting division this, this year, the Coca-Cola Championship, with so many big sides in there. Smith picked by Jermaine Wright, a player that George Burley signed when he was in charge of Ipswich. Very talented. Just doesn't impose himself enough on games, but he's got a lot. He's got vision. Two good feet. Every time he used to watch Ipswich, it was Jim Jilton that was calling the shots, whereas Jermaine had as much ability, but didn't dominate as much as Jim. Well, needs to well to get him because Everton were also interested. Wilson won the header. And Michael Johnson wasn't one for hanging around. Good tackle. That's for, that was just for giving my mate a little lump a few minutes ago. <laughs> Do right. Gary Kelly looking for somewhere to go. He has Richardson and Joe Achim nearby. Wins another throw. Jermaine Wright for Fraser Richardson. Wright's cross and Ricketts header. It's difficult to generate any real power because of the angle it's coming in towards him. If you're running on towards it, you've got a chance, but it's coming right underneath him, and he's got to try and twist the neck muscles and create the power afterwards. Easy for camp. Leeds nudging ahead as far as attempts on goal are concerned. totally dominated the game but being the more adventurous side in the first half had the better opportunities now Richardson probably hit the hand of Marcus Tugge <laughs> yeah, there's a difference in this one in the kill gallon one it's not down by his side Simon Walton amongst those loitering with intent here. Butler and Dubry will come up.
It's left to Danny Pugh to take. Oh, and Lee Camp had to push it over. Well, he should be dealing with this, no problem. I mean, it's, it's slightly awkward, it's just going behind him. He's made a, a two forward step to begin with, so that takes him slightly out of position. Then he's got a backtrack, but it's uh, has to see it out. Leeds looking for a breakthrough on the opening day of the Football League season. Jermaine Wright takes to near. Offside, surely it is. So what impressive the way the Derby County defenders came out once that ball was cleared. Lots of work being played on the training ground on that situation. Leeds and Derby getting a head start on everyone else. Full programme to come later, apart from Stoke Wars, of course, which is tomorrow. And everyone plays midweek as well. Richardson. Tremaine Wright, and his ankle tapped by Idiaka. He didn't exactly keep it a secret. Just look for Danny Pugh, that's what uh, I would be saying to Gary Kelly if you were Kevin Blackwell coming round that far post. Butler's gone over near him. That's where it's aimed towards, and Butler wins it, but Ian Taylor on hand to clear. There's no need to go there, Paul Butler. That's what his manager should be saying to him. Look, the lad does OK on, on his own out there. You go in the middle, just leave him alone with Jeff Kenner. Get up, Jeff. Ricketts flip, Joe Achieve. Michael Johnson close to him. It'll have to be again. A Ricketts. A Richardson. It's turned away by Mills. It's not an easy header once again. It's a lazy ball. Well, not a lazy ball, but he just sticks a foot at it. Michael Ricketts to help it into the box and no real pace on it for Richardson to create. A real good chance for himself. Gilgallan will use Pew. Deflected on his way in and this guard now to Idiakath, and here's Tuggate. Oh. Huddleston is caught by Pugh. No need to foul either, He'd just give it away there. Big Huddleston. Jeff Kennett. Okay. Derby had a nightmare start to last season. They lost 3-0 at home to Stoke on the opening day, but only four of the players who started that game are starting this one. It shows you that uh, George Burley has pretty much transformed Derby, although not to the extent that Kevin Blackwell has had to transform leads not far off though Bishgard Huddleston chasing Pugh is with him good kick given against Tom Huddleston Bishgard had to play the ball earlier that's what caused all the problems by the time the ball Eventually got through to Huddleston, he was under pressure from Pew. Looks to me if he's wasted out on that right hand side door, big mm. Tom Huddleston. Yeah, we see much more of him in the uh, centre of the midfield or at the back. He actually played me in both of those roles at times pre season. Against Aston Villa on Tuesday, first half in central midfield, second half in the heart of the defence, where his future would appear to lie.
30. He's managed to force it out to Richardson. This could be promising for Leeds United. It's gone out. Well, the approach play at times has been excellent. That was just another nice little move from him. Just down the outside of Joe Tumin in. He's just trying to be maybe a little bit too clever here. Fraser Richardson and just knocks it too far for himself. Had a loan spell at uh, Stoke last season to gain some experience. He's only 21. Scored a winner for Stoke at West Ham, you might remember. No goals so far on a scorching day. Idiata should be used to the weather, having come from Spain. Rains in the part of Spain where he was brought up. Ah, it does a bit actually, <laughs> yes. So she does. San Sebastian. Hey, that was a good guess, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Walton, offside. Julian Joti, flag up. Just drifts off that. There's no need for him at times with his pace to try and gamble because if it's a straight race, he'll win it. George Burley will say to his team at half-time, now we're nil-nil, we're going in, we just need to hold the ball up, need to give better service to the strikers. It's a corner, Marcus Tudgay's efforts, he's given Derby a chance here. Tudgay preferred in the starting lineup to a Brazilian junior. Idiakov takes, Tudke nearly made the sort of contact that would have mattered. Thought Ian Taylor was going to get on the end of that once it bounced up. He made a fantastic run. Seemed to get underneath the ball somehow. Leeds fans unimpressed by the change of throw-in taker. Tommy Smith sending it in, Ian Taylor's header. It's another corner. He doesn't catch it properly. And Kill Gallon's not sure where he is and what position he is in front of the goal. That's why he has to deal with it. But this is a real good chance for Ian Taylor. And normally one that he would take because he's so clever at arriving late in the box and that drifts right onto his head. It's got enough pace on it, just needs the direction after that. So, Idiakath again with the corner, it's swirled out, it's not going to count, it's swirled out of play, the linesman's flag went up straight away, and Michael Johnson is denied a goal. Well, I don't know what they saw there, but it's a fantastic header from Michael Johnson, there's all pushing and shoving going all over the place. Well, the linesman's flag went up immediately, so it must have been for the ball going out, but it didn't look very likely. To be honest, I wasn't even watching that, and I couldn't see anything wrong with the actual goal itself. Well, the flag went up as soon as the <laughs> kick was taken then by Eddie Arker. Jermaine Wright's crossed that, and there's a foul. This time by Ricketts. Not very often I'm flummoxed as to what's actually happening, but I didn't have a clue there. And uh, here's the assistant who's put the ball up, put the flag up immediately. The kick was taken. So you well, give him the benefit of the doubt that it went out of play, but I can't see how that happened. I think he was the only one who saw the ball go out, go out but I suppose he was the closest to it. 
two minutes have added on time in this first half. I should have said I get flummoxed all the time. <laughs> Johnson dropped on the ball and Richardson dropped on Johnson. Well, he should have been celebrating the opening goal for me, Michael Johnson. Fantastic header. Would have been a rare goal for Michael Johnson as well. First half drawing to a close in the sizzling heat at Ellen Road. Both teams getting to grips with the new season and with a new challenge. But it is half time and it is goalless, but Michael Johnson will feel rather hard done by his header ruled out. Barry Sigmuta's flag went up as soon as Idiakis took that corner. He must have felt that it swirled out. So we don't have a goal yet in the Coca Cola Championship. We'll hear what the two Garys make of it next with George. And the faithful followers greet their new set of players for the second half. No goal so far in the heat, the considerable heat. Michael Johnson, with an effort, seemingly harshly ruled out for Derby when Barry Sigmuta's flag went up on that corner. Yeah, I'm not happy with Gary McAllister or Gary Rowett giving the assistant the benefit of the doubt. It looked absolutely nothing wrong with it for me. Well, let's have a word with our man on the touchline about that uh, incident, Craig Whelan. Yes, just to confirm, Ian, that indeed that ball was noted as out from that corner kick. The uh, assistant referee, Barry Sigmuta, confirming, raising his flag instantly, that Indy Arkes took that set piece. So that's why it remains nil-nil. Well, it is Leeds who will start the second half. Last time Leeds were relegated from the top flight, it took them eight years to get back. They'll be hoping it doesn't take that long this time, but it might take some time with this whole new team. This is Derby County's third successive season at this level. The last season for them was just about getting through it, just about surviving. And they did just that, albeit leaving it rather late. Better late than never. This is Danny Pugh. Soon sandwiched, though, by Tudgay and Taylor. And Tudgay now looking for Smith. Dubery goes with him. Goal kick. He nearly committed himself to the challenge too early there. Michael Dubery got away with it. Ricketts trying to flick on for Joe Achim, who still might have a chance here if it'll ever come down for him. And Pablo Mills ensured that it wouldn't come down to Ricketts either. Great work from Gary Kelly, naturally. Now Richardson chasing this. And across comes Johnson.
seven debutants in the Leeds United starting 11. Three in the Derby team. Gary Kelly st stuck around. Some things don't change. No surprise that Lee Camp has put his cap on with the sun beating down on Ellen Road. Over a hundred degrees here. Pinch level. Fantastic weather we have in England. <laughs> Every now and again. Huddleston's header. Ted Gay. Kept it in, Kenneth. But here's Pew. Now 16-year-old Simon Walton. Huddleston. Smith. Trying to shake off Dubery. Idiakov now for Jackson. Still coming back, giving it away in the final third. Derby County, which might spur George Burley into a, one or two changes in the front line. Well, he feels he has four very capable strikers this season. Tommy Smith and Marcus Tugge and Junior and Paul Pesky Solida. Fish guard now for Tugge. Richard Jackson. Phil Gallon won the header. Here's Idiaka. And he just got clipped then by Simon Walton, who actually got sent off in a pre season game against Valencia here a couple of weeks ago. He's young, Simon Walton, and once again it's a situation where Eddie Arketh has already kicked the ball and just followed through a little bit. The ball was already going out of play. He certainly got it in for the Spanish because he did that to a couple of the Valencia players as well. And he's got a bit about him as well. Idiakith, well enough to take the free kick. Can Idiakith pick out? And Smith will challenge for this. Huddleston. <laughs> Bit more prominent Huddleston in this second half already. Team and Johnson together. Two players who used to apply their trade in the second city. Joe Team for Villa, Johnson for Birmingham. Ricketts not allowed to get near that by Kenner. Huddleston, Hidiaka, and once again it's Walton closing in. Now Pew will get the free kick, he would have been away then. Maybe the first goal of the game, maybe not. Decent referee, that's nothing, nothing too clinical in this. It's a genuine attempt from Jeff Kenner to try and get the ball. Just runs into him. Main right takes looking good. Dubry coming in on it. That's a really good chance for Michael Dubry. Just needs to get over this a little bit more, but he rises really well. Huddleston's the one just below him. And then once it gets onto his head, that's where you just need the direction. Gets the power behind it. Can't control its direction. Paul Butler won it. 
so did Julian Joachim. Ricketts gets the free kick, sent tumbling by Johnson. Kilgallen. Fishguard, Jackson, Smith. Michael Dubry popping up there. Seeing hungry again leads to win back possession. Walton, especially in that centre midfield. Leeds do manage to keep a clean sheet today. It would be their first in league football in 2004. Their last game on Boxing Day. Who's that against? Aston Villa 0 0, I think you'll find. I knew you'd know that, of <laughs> The fans doing their bit, and the players do theirs. And this revamped team in a revamped football league. Ricketts. Well, he could have known Danny Pugh was behind him there, but it's just a little flick on maybe needed. Once again, it's not that much pace on the ball, so it's hard to generate any real pace from the head. Smith not given and Smith bundling his way through until Kilgallen stopped him Leeds making a point to the linesman uh, on the other side now Kevin Blackwell in his first job in management and he worked so successfully alongside Neil Warnock at Sheffield United and of course he'll be up against his former boss soon when the two teams meet and I think it's the end of August. He's new to management at the moment. At this moment in time we'll not know what it's all about really apart from the work behind the scenes. That's when those defeats start to sink in. <laughs> That's when it's welcome to football management. <laughs> you know all about those defeats. <laughs> more and more defeats. Jackson. Decent cross for Ian Taylor, but Neil Sullivan will collect. Just got himself in a bit too early there, Ian Taylor. Main right for Kilgallen. It's a little bit scrappy at the moment, changing ball, changing hands on either side. Tommy Smith is onside here. Biscard is making great strides to join him in the box. Smith goes it alone and Paul Butler to the rescue. Well, he should be allowed to get back, should he, Paul Butler? Todd Gay does really well. Look at that over the top. I've said to you before, people, look at the ground he's got to make up, Paul Butler. He's got to cut in there, Tommy Smith. He does, but the experience. Paul Butler just cuts off the angle where he thinks the ball's going to go and gets it spot on. Diarco for the corner. Comes out to Morton Bishgard. Pablo Mills. And Dubry manages to find his keeper. Good play. Here go Leeds United with Fraser Richardson. It's 
sense of anticipation from the fans. And Jackson stumbling, Richardson's cross! Oh, and Walton just couldn't quite get to it. Fabulous play from Fraser Richardson. Jackson. Oh, sorry for Richard Jackson on this, because look at Fraser, he's taunting him. Go on, and then he slips over, and then he doesn't know where he is. Lovely little ball in the box, and they're all underneath it once again. Just bide your time, give yourself a bit more space to attack the ball. But when you're underneath it, very difficult, and Mills does really well in the Derby back line. Well, he's a player that seems to have plenty of confidence already. Making his debut for Leeds on the day he got his exam results, which were pretty decent by all accounts. Looks like Derby are going to bring on their Brazilian junior who missed so much of last season when he did his cruciate ligaments. And Adam Boulders also going to be coming on for Derby. I can see that George Burley wouldn't be happy with his team's performance despite the Chance just a few minutes ago for Tommy Smith. Still not what I would consider to be a George Burley side that keeps the ball really well. Huddleston for Tudgate. A mistake from Walton. Huddleston now. Ian Taylor's in there. But it's wonderfully done by Dubery. Fabulous reading of the play from Michael Dubery. Jeff Kenner. Now, Eddie Arca. Smith now, smuggling it through for Marcus Tugay! And it's Sullivan who stops it, and it stays goalless. I didn't need the second touch, Marcus Tugay. Well done, Neil Sullivan. But if he just whips it once he got the ball through to him from Tommy Smith, I think he would have had a better chance of scoring. Oh, this is the chance. Tommy Smith does absolutely fantastic. Look at this for a through ball. Tudgay just times the run to perfection. There you are, now whip it first time with your left foot. Once he waits and has that second touch, it allows Neil Sullivan to set himself, get his position correct, be there as a block, and he gets it away. Big chance of that for Derby, but they have another one here with a corner. Idiarkov with it, Kilgallen did well. Now Joachim, more than capable of chasing his own ball here, but Jackson's pretty nippy too. Did himself a bit to do, only ten yards, and made up nine of them. <laughs> <laughs> Double change then for Derby, they're taking off Marcus Tuggay and bringing on Junior, who scored a lot of goals for Warsaw in this division a couple of years ago. And Tom Huddleston, we haven't seen the best of him, having given him the big build-up today, played out on the right. He's gone off to be replaced by Adam Boulder. Well, I think George Burley would be delighted with his back line, and we know that's where Huddleston likes to play, so there's no point in changing that around. Doesn't suit him the right side of midfield, we've seen that. And he could have changed his position, but decided, you know, maybe it's not your day today. Taylor, Tommy Smith, and Danny Pugh slides in. And past the hour mark. 
Boulder just on. Idiakov. Sullivan thought about coming. Biscard won it. And Wright made sure it didn't drop for Taylor. Richardson powering away. Michael Johnson is having none of Joachim. He's done very well strength wise. His match to Julian Joachim. He's not too far away on the pace stakes as well. Jermaine Wright. Should be the camp's ball. Junior. Just a little bit scrappy. Derby's beginning to take over a little bit more. Leeds just relying on the counter. Tommy Smith. Again, Taylor. Always makes himself available in the box. Now, Idiaka might yet get his shot away. It's a good challenge by Simon Walton, but he just pulled up then. Might be a bit of cramp there. He's worked very hard, Walton. Bishgard now, and here is Junior! And Sullivan got his fingertips to it. Oh, Kilgallen might have just got a slight deflection on this. He doesn't hit it really well, Junior, but Kilgallen does well to track him. But this is what when we spoke about the earlier opportunity that they had. Take it first time when it comes across your body. And maybe the fingertips of Neil Sullivan is the actual touch. It certainly is. Derby fans packed behind that goal, hoping to see a goal here. Idiakov unable to clear the first hurdle, which was Ricketts. Bishgard. Lucas Radaby waiting to come on for Leeds. Julian Joe team is onside here and closing in on goal. And Lee Camp has blocked it. Well done, the goalkeeper. Got his angles 100% spot on. Narrowed Julian Joachim into a channel there. And then you set yourself and get something on it once it played in. Well, Simon Walton just tweaked something a moment ago and. I don't think Kevin Blackwell felt he was going to get a full game out of him anyway. But listen to the noise from the Leeds fans for this 16-year-old. Very impressive. A debut to remember that, that's for sure. And to get to stamina is going to be some player. 16-year-old replaced by a 35-year-old, Lucas Radovic. One of the few familiar faces at Ellen Road, Radovic. Well, Gallant's throw, and he'll get the chance to do the same again. Good job they don't worry about foul throws anymore, because his feet were miles <laughs> off the ground. <laughs> Phil Gallant's cross, on by Joachim. Radaby gets his first touch. Joachim nearly made that happen. Well, doesn't make it that time, but this is the opportunity. That's what he does really well. Just playing on the shoulder of defenders, one on one. But you can see they've narrowed him into a corner. The goalkeeper has to stand big and does well. Simon Walton, a young man with a big future. Because rather be in the twilight of his career now. What a fantastic servant he's been over the years to Leeds United. And here he is, right on cue, now Jermaine Wright. Kevin Blackwell must have belief in Lucas Radaby. I just think when older players who come on in centre midfield, it's hard to get the pace of the game. Lucas must be able to do that. 
Speaking from experience there. Absolutely. <laughs> You, know, you need impact players as substitutes, people who can come on and change the game. Simon Walton was just feeling his hamstring we here, but uh, as I said, Kevin Blackwell never intended to play him for the whole 90 minutes. Losing out to Pew. And, uh, Pablo Mills made sure that there was going to be no further advance. Gallen goes for distance. McDonald by Butler, but a free kick given. The festival of football from the Football League continues on Sky Sports 1 at 5.30 with Coventry against Sunderland. Peter Reid takes on his old club. And then tomorrow, from noon on Sky Sports 1, it's a local affair, Stoke against Wolves. by Taylor. It's the opening game on the opening day. Are we going to get a goal? Gary Kelly. And he bobbled off. Fraser Richardson. Jackson. Idiaka. Boulder. Kenner. Idiaka. Biscard. Derby are probing. Kenneth's cross is met by Kelly. Oh, Tommy Pugh was held back by Jeff Kenner, and it's going to be the first card of the game. Yeah, it's quite right as well, he's away. Danny Pugh, it's fantastic skill. And Jeff Kenner knows he's out of position. It's a long, long way back for him, so he'll accept that one. Inside the last 20 minutes. The heat is on in more ways than one at Ellen Road. Kilgallen's free kick. Joe hey, Team now for Ricketts. Richardson. scores the first goal in the championship and the new Leeds United are oh, what up what a fabulous finish the Derby County players have actually 
invited him onto his left foot because they're hoping that it's not as strong as his right foot. So what does he do? He takes his time, he picks his spot, Ricketts gives to him. Just watch him now, he has a little look up, sees his position, steadies himself, and then he hooks that ball with his left foot. The defenders are coming across, but it's got enough curl and bend on it to take it away from camp. And all camp can do is watch from this position as it's out of its reach, it's disguised by the defenders, and there it is in the far corner. His first goal for Leeds. It's only his seventh game for them, mind you. Fraser Richardson opens the scoring in the new season. And Leeds are going to bring on a man who was a bit of a hero in his first spell at the club. He was at West Ham last season. A man they call Dino who replaces Michael Ricketts. Well, he is an impact player because he did it a lot at West Ham last year, makes a contribution. He is older, but he can still make a telling contribution when he comes on as a sub. Michael Ricketts, his last contribution, because he'd run out of legs, was that pass to Fraser Richardson. So, Brian Dean resumes his Leeds career, his hometown club. Spent four years here in the mid-90s. Biscard now, junior, and Butler shot him off. Easy, this management, Lark. <laughs> it's not over yet, Ian. <laughs> I don't think you'll think it's easier at the moment. Julian Joe team is bundled over by Pablo Mills, and they need to have a free kick. Just need to regain their composure. Harvey County. <laughs> what leads would give for a second. Right sending it in. Oh, it's come back to Paul Butler, who somehow missed it after Dubry had knocked it back. What a brilliant free kick. The problem is you don't want to see Paul Butler back on the end of it was for the volley. <laughs> <laughs> because look at Dubry, how well does that do to get that ball back across and then it lands on the feet. You just look at his shape and he's high in the air and he's trying to turn it on goal. It would have been a stunner, but not quite. Leads are buzzing though, it's Danny Pugh. Gallant. Well, it's this fella, Fraser Richardson, who's done all the business, and I think they were quite happy for him to come inside. What they couldn't have expected was the quality of the finish when he does it. Richard Jackson invites him in, Michael Johnson doesn't come across, but that's tidy. State from Kenner has let Pugh in. Brian Dean's waiting for a cross. And Richardson's coming in again. Can he score again? No, Richard Jackson blocked it. That's outstanding play from Danny Pugh. Fucking Richardson. This time he didn't trust his left foot. Kelly's cross. Dean in there. Under the roof of the net. Well, he's just got a stride onto this, Fraser Richardson. He should have the confidence, having just stroked that ball away. When Danny Pugh does this, all of a sudden it's coming, it's slow, it's just played superb for you to just stride onto a hit. Look at that, there's hardly any pace on it, just bang now, he changes his mind. It's that right foot control, and then the block is absolutely superb. You've had your touch. Jackson's out to block it. 
Jermaine Wright. Leeds flying. The new team and gelling together nicely. It's ironic that for all the players that Kevin Blackwell has had to bring in, the goal was scored by a man who was already here, Fraser Richardson. Butler. He's got the free kick. He might have had a second goal a moment ago, but the butler didn't do it on that occasion. The butler needed it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> In the lounge. <laughs> With the lead piping. Is Jermaine Wright. And Butler and Dubry are in there again. And Dubry won the header once more. Well, it's fantastic play from Michael Dubry. This is real determination and spring to get on the end of these. He's very unfortunate, drifted wide. Derby County hoping to improve their away form this season. They were dismal on their travels last season, just two wins. And they were thankful for an excellent record at Pride Park because that preserved their status at this level. Junior, the advantage has been played, and Boulder looks for Tommy Smith. Oh dear, and amongst the Derby fans, that one. Junior's having a word with Mark Clattenburg now, so he wants a free kick, but referee did ever so well. You know, if Tommy Smith sticks it in the top corner, there's no problems. He does get fouled by Michael Dubry, no doubt about that, but that's great advantage from the referee. You can then go back once you've allowed Tommy Smith to get the strike in. Well, Derby taking off Jeff Kenner now and bringing on the German, Marco Boraiku. Came up with some impressive performances towards the end of last season. Joined from Werder Bremen. Just over 30,000 inside Ellen Road today. The majority of the Leeds fans, as expected, remaining faithful and fully behind their team, their new team. And their new team is doing all right. Joachim now, he's got a spare man, it's Danny Pugh! Just had to check his stride there, Danny Pugh, look at him, he's disappointed, but he has to check his stride because it's just slightly behind him, if he just plays this a little bit more forward, Julian Joachim, he can then just run onto it in the same stride, but he can't, it's just got to wait for it and wait for it, and it just bends away, just fingertips there from the goalkeeper, but it wasn't going in. Leeds players gather together as Jermaine Wright whips it in. Kilgallen can't get near it though. Norkin Richardson. Now Junior. Jackson. Mills. Nothing doing with that. let themselves down today George Burley's side failure to give decent passes to the strikers and hold the play up and he's screaming at them again Brian Dean doing what he does best Radovi Chases on for Richardson, now Kelly. Churchill. him. 
What a Derby County got left to offer on the opening day. Here's Morton Biscard. Adam Boulder. And Junior tumbles. It's a little bit too intricate there from Boulder, maybe. Once he got that half a yard of a strike himself. Richardson. Kelly. Joachim. Richardson. Scorer of Leeds goal. Kelly's cross met by Johnson. Richardson. He's certainly taking the opportunity that he's been given today. What a fantastic second half. Goals giving loads and loads of confidence and belief in himself. Kelly's cross. Brian Deans kind of cross as well. He must have took his eye off it there, Brian Dean. I just expected once that was on his head to hit the back of the net. Does he take his eye off it? Does he head it straight against Pablo Mills? Not quite sure what he does. Dean 36 now, but still a big nuisance to defenders. Tony Pugh earns a corner. Could be top of the league. Leeds. For a couple of hours anyway. Duvery and Butler in the hunt once again. Brian Dean. Crashes in. Jermaine Wright teasing. And Butler nearly had another chance to score then. Well, he's got a flaying leg that's caught Michael Johnson. Ball's bouncing around for Paul Butler to try and strike him. I think it's a sore one in the privates for poor old Michael. This angle will give us a better view. Michael Johnson in need of treatment. Derby in need of a goal if they are to salvage something from their opening day exertions. Well, what a difficult time it's been at Leeds United for everyone concerned, really. So many players have left, so many have come in. It's pretty straight talking, Gerald Krasner. Telling someone off for leaving early then, I think. <laughs> Quite right and all. <laughs> just maybe because of the temperature down there, they might have just taken the sting out of Derby, otherwise you'd expect them to get one more chance before the game was finished. A chance. Hopeful, really, from Idiaka. Sent back by Butler. Biscard. Some players really feeling the heat out there. Richardson.
Mills now. It's going to carry through to Tommy Smith. Hope yet for Derby. Smith taking the long way around, and Junior. Goal kick. How's he missed it? How has Junior missed this? Tommy Smith does fantastic. He's goaded the defenders at times into thinking that they've got a chance of winning it. First it's Dubry that has a go, then Paul Butler has a chance. It doesn't come right. It actually hit Junior himself, and then it came down for him, and he's just got right underneath it. The goal was gaping. Well, he will get goals for Derby this season, no doubt about that. Chochi latching on to the flick on from who else but Dean. Some fancy footwork. And Adam Boulder able to snuff out Pugh's attempt of a cross. Marco Wright. It's going to be a free kick, and Derby have a chance to send one in the box. As they chase an equaliser. There'll be a few Derby fans watching back in the East Midlands holding their breath now. And Junior went for it, but it's come off a Leeds body. Corner. Fantastic ball in. Norton Biscard with the corner. Met by Paul Butler, which is not too surprising. Diakov minding the shot. Leeds nearly there. Could be a perfect start to management for Kevin Blackwell. <laughs> Phil Gallon's throw. Foul by Dean on Boulder. Was so effective when he came on for West Ham last season. So he does make things happen. Biscard. Junior trying to get in. Don't be plugging away. Idiaka. Biscard. Oh, Tommy Smith just over around that. Much to Derby's considerable frustration. Four minutes of added on time will bring hope to Derby. That's where Kevin Blackwell will start to feel the pressure. Four minutes will seem like four hours. For George Burley it'll seem like four seconds. Blackwell has had to preside over 40 transfers in and out, mostly out. should have more to offer this season than they did last season when they just had to stay up their ambitions higher this time around Biscard Still three minutes of added on time to go. Tommy Smith. George Burley has high hopes for him this season. Idiakath. 
Fishguard. Adam Boulder. Fishguard's cross. Taylor has a swing at it. So does Marco Wright. Handball play shout against Richardson. I don't think it bounced up and hit him in the hands, but once again his hands are low down by his side. The referee Mark Clattenburg is right on top of that and it bounced. There it is. Definite handball. Reich's cross. Oh, head, header from Taylor and Junior. That is an unbelievable save from Neil Sullivan. Absolutely magnificent from Neil Sullivan because he's gone to the right hand side because it's a brilliant header from Ian Taylor. Look at the reactions, how quickly he gets up into position for the second shot. While well, Ian Taylor nearly scored and Junior somehow foiled. And Matt Kilgallen is bleeding here. He's going to need some treatment. Just when Leeds wanted all hands to the pump. Amazing save from Sullivan. But a corner for Derby. Biscar takes Junior trying to get in again. It's another corner off Radaby. Yeah, Radaby's done well actually as, as a sub. He's come on and played really, really well. But this is where the. Through no fault of your own, you lose a player because there's blood. Biscard sent it in. Oh, and Pablo Mills unable to turn it back, and it seems destined not to be Derby's day, and he's a big reason why. Oh, absolutely. He's welcomed himself to the Leeds United fans with open arms now, but just watch, he's down. Look at that reaction, because Junior strikes that ball with venom. He really thumps it, so the goalkeeper has to be up quickly, and that's just magnificent. Stunning save from Neil Sullivan. Pretty much down the pecking order at Chelsea. Number one at Leeds. And one of the heroes today. Derby, of course, will point to that goal they had disallowed in the first half. Michael Johnson, they didn't see much wrong with it. Disallowed because the linesman reckoned that Idiakita's corner had swirled out. But Kevin Blackwell's not too bothered about that at the moment. Leeds are on the verge of a victory here. But that save from Sullivan right at the end was breathtaking. Jackson has to be careful. Ian Taylor, whose header bounced off the upright. Idiaka. There is life in Leeds United yet. Kevin Blackwell's first game as Leeds manager ends in victory. Fraser Richardson with the only goal of the game, and it was a cracker too. But Neil Sullivan did his bit, and how, in a very big way, with a quite spectacular save in injury time to foil Junior. Derby might feel a little hard done by. They have reasons to be encouraged this season, but the Leeds fans have backed their new team to the hilt and they have been rewarded with three points for starters, Chris. Yeah, it was a very, very tight game. Uh, just the heat probably played a major part in the game as far as Derby County was concerned. But they threw caution to the wind at the end and, as you said, Neil Sullivan. But Leeds had the better opportunities throughout the game. Just about, just about, I should say, deserved it. It may be all change for Leeds United this season, but they are alive and kicking. It finishes at Ellen Road on the opening day. Leeds United 1, Derby County 0.